Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the second episode of Linux Privilege Escalation series. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the enumeration part only, but in an automated way. Or uh, we'll try to do the same enumeration process that we had done in the previous episode one uh, through the help of some automated scripts. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, uh, without getting any delay, let's start. So in the previous video, we had seen about uh, the part of enumeration part through manually. Like we ran few scripts. Okay. And uh, we were able to find out what those particular tools does. Right. And in this video, as I told you in that video only, like no one do all these stuff. Like no one is going to run all these uh, commands at a time. So they are going to use something called as scripts or some kind of automation. So in this video, we'll be discussing about some of those automated scripts that I personally use and also most people use in order to gather information during Linux privilege escalation part. So I leave the link for this notes in the description below where you can find a topic called as automated uh, enumeration scripts, etc. like that. And you can use these tools. And if you if you feel that uh, if you feel there are some more tools which are uh, interesting, so do let me know in the comments. I'll do add them to my repository. So and also guys, you can follow this along. OK, uh, using this try hack me room, you don't need to pay anything as we discussed earlier. So let's start. So I'm having my Linux machine here and uh, don't ignore this Metasploit will guys because I'm doing some other work. So let's do an SSH quick SSH into this thing. So yes. Uh, so and also guys, I'm uh, looking forward to make more videos on this topic. So do let me know whether you are interested on interested or not. So right now we got an access guys like a normal user Karen. So the first and then important script or the tool that I use in use is Linpeas. So if you don't know Linpeas is one of the top uh, Linux Pledge Escalation script or one of the top tool okay uh, most people use and you can even run it simply you don't need to provide any options or anything like that so you can find out a small command guys here so you can copy it it might work and if it doesn't work uh, the thing you can do is like uh, you can simply uh, copy them to your uh, repo uh, copy them to your uh, target ma attacker machine and you can simply run over that so if I do an LS, you, I'm having a few copies of uh, Linux Explorer Suggestion and Linpeace. So let me create uh, a simple Python server. So the reason I'm showing you is like I, I, I could have skipped this part, but uh, this might be useful for you. Okay, so sometimes all the times these, uh, these uh, commands that they provide in these repositories might not work. So this is the thing that you can use. So I'm doing it. Okay, and let me also find the IP address of my machine uh, which is the tanjiro uh, the connection thing and uh, let me do a quick w get okay http colon slash slash and uh, 50 i think so and uh, also i need to copy the script name okay so that is how you can do it so like the reason i mentioned is clear okay the intention is clear. if the permission is denied so move them to the other part okay the other folder and you can run the same command okay sometimes some directories will not one pro tip is like uh, try to uh, do these downloads etc like that into the uh, slash tmp folder or the temporary folder because it works all the time so let's give the executable rights uh, if possible okay and then just simply run this tool uh, like and also guys you'll get a lot of issues as well in the go so make sure you are uh, uh, like not giving up easily okay so this tool is as i told you one of the most popular tool this is the legend so mostly give value to these two parts so whenever the text which is in red uh, red for uh, red color and also it is getting highlighted by an yellow color then it is like 95 percent of the time it works and red color uh, if the text is in red color then you need to always check it now you can see that uh, the linux version is this thing so if you can simply copy this thing you can try to find out any exploits of this particular kernel version 
okay and it is going to you can see a lot of stuff going on over here guys like what are the vulnerable it is vulnerable to which cve you can simply copy these names and it works okay and you can see some environment variable so if you can recall the previous session that we had so it is nothing but uh, what we try to do is like uh, like like it is trying to do the all the same tasks that that uh, we did manually right so that is what happening here but it is going to uh, go snap here like we are not going to uh, like in the pre if you do manually we are going to waste a lot of time but here you can simply copy the script to, from the attacker machine to this target machine and you can simply run it and you are good to go and also one good advantage of this tool is like it even suggests you some exploits okay and other part as well okay you can see some processes it is it is running a tool called as ps that we discussed earlier and uh, some other files folders etc like that so it is going to take some time guys and that and the time it is going to take is really valuable for you because the output it is going to provide will definitely help you in moving forward okay so this is one of the tools that i use guys so whenever i get an access to any machine okay uh which can be like uh a Linux machine uh, which I got access as a normal user then I'll definitely try to download the script and I'll run it so that I can find some uh, juicy information okay and if and uh, sometimes if this tool doesn't work you might be having questions like what when the, what if this tool doesn't work there is other tool called as lin enum so I leave the, like uh, you can check this out like I I don't use this tool I won't use this tool much but you can put this tool as a backup because and also the advantage of this tool is like you can have some options so do check out the detailed menu of that you can use it and the third tool that I use mostly is this uh, Linux privilege escalation uh, thing for this is the Linux exploit suggestion and if you observe carefully so now you can see in uh, this lin piece uh, you can see this tool is integrated okay but sometimes uh, you can simply run this tool okay i'm going to tell share you something else like i saw like nearly at uh, like 60 boxes i think so only through the help of this linux exploit suggestion like i simply used to run this tool and it is going to suggest me some exploits and i simply use it to copy those exploits and i used to run them and i'm good to go I got a root as uh, I got root privileges like never ever ignore this tool guys so it is also simple only you can copy this tool okay and uh, if you can see now as I told you linpiece has this integration with it so you can do that so you can simply copy this tool or you can simply copy this uh, to your main machine uh, like I did earlier and uh, here and uh, you can run this tool okay but let me show you Okay, so let me do a w get once again uh but now we'll download the uh, this linux exploit suggestion i think i'm sorry guys what a sh it, it got downloaded here okay so make sure you are having a copy in your attacker machine also it will help you it will definitely help you okay and uh, let me give you an option uh, for this uh, let me uh, give the executable rights for this thing and let me run this uh, thing up here so it is only going to show you all the exploits okay some kernel exploits which are available and you can see 79 kernel exploits i'm going to show you uh, in the next part uh, how you can exploit this kernel you can see some exploits etc like that you can simply and the advantage here is like you can even have the download url you can simply open that url and you can download that exploit and you can run it okay so that is how you can use it like pretty easy tools guys these are some of the easy tools and uh, some other backup tools are like this thing linux smart enumeration this is also similar to linpiece only but it's always your choice guys on what tool to use and also this other tool linux privilege uh, privilege escalation check script even this is like enumeration scripts only okay so all these lin piece lin enum uh, li, uh, lin smart enumer uh, linux smart enumeration and this linux priv checker so all these are enumeration tools only so you can put these tools in your backup so if in case this lin piece doesn't work you can use others as well and the linux exploit register is a different thing it is going to suggest you some uh, linux exploits okay so that you can use to run and uh, uh, that is going to be the end of this video guys this is a short video i know that uh like this is going to be like uh, 
the extension part to the first episode but we'll call this a second episode and uh, in the next episode we'll be covering how you can exploit this kernel uh, how you can use this kernel to exploit and gain the root access in the next video and uh, that is it guys for today's video if you uh, like this video make sure you like it and do share with the people or your friends who are really interested in this stuff and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you